What's going on folks? Earthmaster here checking in on this Sunday evening, October 18th, 2020, 9.27 p.m. The time here in California, taking a look at the Earthquake 3D globe, shows a 3.5. The latest there in Southern California, right around the uh, Ludlow area of California. Not a big earthquake, but definitely the latest one there on the map. Also, uh, some activity showing up uh, just south of there as well. Let's see if I can get over here to this other map here so we can see that uh, activity. Just south of the border, we had, we had a uh, couple small earthquakes there, 3.5, 3.0, and a 3.3 south of the region on the Imperial Fault. Of course, this area right here is known to produce some large quakes uh, as well. But uh, right now, just a little flurry of uh, some low, low end quakes there, not affecting any type or not uh, uh, causing any type of swarming or anything here in this region near the Salton Sea, uh, which is good. 2.5 and above doesn't show all of these quakes. So this is the all magnitudes here. You can see a little bit of microquakes going on there too around that trio of, uh, of uh, smaller, or I should say a little bit larger magnitudes in the microquakes there. 3.5 is the largest in this sequence of quakes there in the area south of the border looking up here to the north 3.5 showing up there near where'd that Lidlow area go somewhere on the map well okay we'll call it uh, east of Barstow right there in the uh, what is that Caddy Mountains the Caddy Mountains never heard of it I live here in California 3.5 at 4 4.7 kilometers below the surface there quickly fall followed up by a smaller aftershock there 1.5 Kind of outside the area of the uh, uh, normal region, but uh, yeah, there's a, there's a bunch of fault systems out there. Specifically, uh, well, looks to the west, look to the southwest here. There's some, not in this general area of the mountains, but uh, I'm sure there's some fault systems out there. Uh, let's see, Nevada and, and the uh, Ridgecrest area still seeing some uh, earthquake activity. Up north here, we're still seeing some surface quaking going on due to the uh, tremor event that's continuing there. Let's zoom in here to this little uh, mountain er mountainous area where we've seen a 2.1 and a 1.6 earthquake strike there over the last 24 hours. Nothing major going on, no major movement around the uh, volcanoes at all. A little microquake there near Mount St. Helens, I should say right in the summit actually. Uh, but other than that, not a whole lot of activity. We can also see a couple different maps there. Uh, we'll go over here to the Trimmer map real quick. Let's see here. Where's Mount uh, Mount St. Helens graph there? This shows the activity over the last... Oh, it goes back a ways here. You can see the latest quake there was at 1.0. Let's see if we can look at some of these uh, uh, seismic stations there. Yeah, that's just a little bitty, uh, little bitty quake out there. Let's see if we can get this to operate real quick here. Well, that's kind of interesting there. East Dome, Mount St. Helens there. I'm going to have to check back on this and see see if those are indeed earthquakes that are popping off there. Now let me double check this date, October 18th, 2020. A lot of times you can check on different stations and see if this is uh, if uh, this is showing up on, on uh, other stations as well. If this is indeed um, accurate, that shows a, a pretty good flurry of er earthquakes there at Mount St. Helens. Uh, stations nearby or yeah, let's see here oh, okay I'll jump back on this folks and see if I can uh, find out what's going on with that I had no plan really to jump into the Mount St. Helens area but uh, I may have to now kind of uh, kind of crazy uh, let's see trimmer in the Pacific Northwest still continuing today 379 epicenters of trimmer uh, on this 18th day of October that's been about two weeks now since it's begun 
I'm sure activity is slowing down a little bit. Uh, but this is definitely a good good uh, extended period of trimmer that's taken place over the last two weeks. No migration further to the south here like we had seen last night. Mostly confined there to uh, to the Oregon, or to the uh, Washington region, also a little bit up there in Vancouver Island as well. Uh, Yellowstone National Park not seeing too much activity. Of course, these are all seismograph stations around the area. Yellowstone Park, this this whole region right here, the caldera is outlined. Not a whole lot of activity. Some wind taking place. They did have some snow moving into the area today, so a little winter storm taking place up there in the in the uh, beautiful area of Montana and, and uh, Wyoming. Uh, let's see what else we got here, folks. Not a whole lot going on globally. Let me check that out here real quick. Over here along the uh, Pacific coastline, the Pacific Plate. A little activity near Fiji and Tonga region. Uh, the latest quake, I believe, was this 5.1 over here near uh, Indonesia. I won't even attempt to pronounce that. I don't want to get crucified. Uh, let's see here. Some other activity up here in Tajikistan. I do know how to pronounce that. And also Greece region showing a little bit of activity. 4.4 over there around the sea area. Other than that, pretty quiet activity, folks. No major movement to uh, report out there over the last 24 hours. Um, but I will be checking back on that Mount St. Helens seismograph station there. Um, like I said, if that's the case with the... Uh, uh, all those quakes there, then something's up. Something's not being reported. Because I've seen way more than one earthquake on that seismograph station. So we'll check back. We'll give uh, an update once I find out something. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the uh, Today in Earthquake History real quick. Today is not the 19th. We are in the 18th once again. It kicks back to the UTC time. Uh, 7.2 back in 1992. It's a pretty big earthquake there in Columbia. Columbia. Northern Columbia, I should say, October 18th, back in this day in history. Uh, looks like uh, only one fatality, um, quite a few uh, injuries, it looks like, and whatnot. Oh, there is the Loma Prieta earthquake. Remember last night? I wonder if this page is behind. Remember we were talking about how this uh, local time, here we go, that's what was going on, the local time was October 17th so that's kind of showing up now we covered that last night um, a little bit on our uh, update video also uh, looks like 5.4 in eastern Turkey back in 1984 75,000 homes damage out there in that region also a 5.1 earthquake out in Irondale Alabama of all places 1916 largest historical earthquake in Alabama. So yeah, Alabama definitely can see some earthquakes out there. I think we've seen some, uh, what was it, about a month back now? I don't know if I can go, uh, let's see, was this this quake right here? 2.6 back in, uh, well that was only a couple days ago. I could have swore there was some, uh, some other earthquake activity that took place there. Uh, let's see, we'd have to go 30 days, all magnitudes. Maybe not. Maybe I'm a. Uh, maybe it's been longer than a month ago. All right, folks. Uh, we're gonna jump off here for a little bit. We will look into that Mount St. Helens thing, like I mentioned, and we will uh, chat at you guys a little bit later. Please stay safe out there. And um, you know, just the best thing you could do, no matter where you live at, is definitely not not to be scared, not to panic, but just be prepared for uh, you know the possibility of an earthquake. Living out here in California, that's something I have to contend to every single day, even when I'm sleeping. I don't have any knickknacks up on the counter. I don't have any expensive things hanging on the wall, um, and that's by choice. Just because I don't want, <laughs> I don't want all that stuff broken, just in case the earthquake does hit out here. So, and of course, I always carry or always keep uh, emergency supplies and, uh, you know, extra food, fuel, all that stuff. I'm a prepper. And, uh, you know, I got my bug out bag ready if I need to. <laughs> I just, uh, I, I try to prepare myself if need be. If I never use it, I never use it. But uh, it's there for when I do need to. 
All right, folks, stay safe out there.